board's first meeting was held on the evening of April 26th, 1921, exactly 100 years ago tonight. The elected board would meet until June 30th, 1985, when by the new town home rule charter, the Board of Public Works was abolished, and together with the Cemetery Board of Trustees, governing body oversight was relinquished to the Board of Selectmen, now the Select Board as we currently have today. The first superintendent of Public Works was a gentleman by the name of Harry B. Collins. The Public Works Department has grown substantially over the past 100 years and has definitely seen its share of changes, including three highway and DPW garages, three water towers, three water treatment plants, and even one refuse incinerator. The first highway department building was in a former school at the corner of John Street and Union Street. In 1939, the highway department moved to a new location on Drive just down here to my right until this new DPW garage was built in 1987. The tree and moth department, which is now the forestry division, was in a separate building also on John Street until the building was sold and moved to the Nike site on Haverhill Street, where the Burbank Ice Arena currently stands. The cemetery department to this day still resides in Laurel Hill Cemetery. While details on the locations of their buildings are not known at this point, I can tell you also that the water company was established in 1885. The town hired its first engineer as part of the water company in 1889. The sewer department was established in 1909 with the parks department not coming about until 1919. In 1921, Reddings Water Treatment Plant was located on Mill Street. In 1930, a new water treatment plant was built in the town forest, which was located on the newly named Strout Ave. Strout being the name of the former chief engineer of the Mill Street Water Treatment Plant. Reddings' last treatment plant was built in the late 1980s before being demolished in 2008 when the town switched its water supply over to the MWRA. A couple more fun tidbits of information for you from Mill. In 1921, there were no paved streets in Reading, so the only challenges with road maintenance included managing dust in the summer and mud in the winter and spring. The total snow and ice expenditures for the winter of 1921 was $10. And in the summer, 41,000 gallons of oil were spread on the roads for dust control. By the mid-1930s, a landfill was built where Home Depot currently resides. And at one time, Reading even performed its own rubbish collection on the county its own incinerator. Today, the Department of Public Works employs a total workforce of 60 fine men and women encompassing eight divisions in the areas of administrative services, engineering, highway and equipment maintenance, stormwater, parks and forestry, cemetery, water, and sewer. These divisions are responsible for the maintenance and oversight of 100 miles of roads, about 270 miles of subsurface utilities, 80 acres of grass area, 51 acres of cemetery as well as all repairs and maintenance services for over 200 pieces of equipment for police, fire, schools, facilities, council on aging, and public works. So to conclude, thank you again to Bill Brown for all this great history on Reading in the Department of Public Works. And thank you to everyone in the Public Works Department for the job you all do each and every day in keeping Reading running. You're all looking pretty good for 100 years old. So if everyone could please now direct their attention to the flagpole to my right, we will now proudly raise the new Public Works first responder flag.